Hello and welcome to Groundworks. In today's episode we have a whopping 5033 signs to spend and we will spend it. And in today's episode I'm gonna try and build an SSTO. Finally. Yes, I know. There have been multiple attempts but just a little under luck. So we are gonna do the shit out of the research. Yes, we are researching the RTGs and we are gonna get a lot of them. So, okay. Nukes, nukes, nukes. Who doesn't want to nukes? 1,000. Ooh, are you? you're rubbing me blind, man. Here, come on. I was so excited. Um, right, okay, I have no idea what those things do. And heavy landing, 10 meter heat shield. Yes, please. Now, actuators, yeah, those might be handy. Some rotor, servos, hinges and whatnot. I'm actually inclined to take that one, but let's first check out what's on offer. I mean, I don't think we have enough to tech to unlock everything, so yeah. And I want to be building an SSTO, so hypersonic flight. Well, I kind of need that, of course. And these fan shrouds are the new things that came together with the more boosters pack and heavy aerodynamics, no new parts. So hypersonic flight, advanced metal works, some adapters, actuators. Hmm, tough choices. I'm gonna go with hypersonic flight and see what le what is left. Aerospace tech repairs, yes please. A another whopping 1000 science, jeez. Uh, heavy aerodynamics, yes, I do want the wide body. I don't know if I was gonna build it yet, but uh, advanced motors. Grid, strip, grip, pad, uh, experimental aerodynamics, more of these big flies, big ass wing. Oh, I want these, me wants. Okay, take it. See, I told you there won't be enough research for everything. Now, advanced motors versus the actuators. Rotation servos, hydraulic cylinders, advanced metal works. Do I want to do those? Clamp patron shielding, modular girder segment XL, that might be handy. Not for the NSSTO though. 300 science, I don't want to spend them just yet. Although actuators, it's a lot, only 160, so I'm more inclined to actually spend those. Yeah, what the hell, do it. All right, leave the facility. That leaves us 623 science and we won't be, we'll leave that for the time being, so as a joker card if we need to if we bump into something. So, let's design our SSTO, shall we? As a first SSTO that would actually, that we hope to kind of reach orbit, we are gonna take the Mark III cockpit. No, I'm gonna go with Mark II cockpit, yes. I just like this cockpit from stock, it's the only cockpit from stock that I actually like, despite the Mark III being the shuttle one. And I know, I know, shuttle is all the rage now when the more boosters are being dropped and uh, you can actually do the stock shuttle. Rest assured, I will do that. However, I'm more inclined to do an SSTO today. So, this would be the regular body and where are my beautiful uh, rapier engines? Yes, I want the rapier the bananas out of this body. Uh, why don't you dual, you know, attach for some reason? Right, and uh, now we want to have electrical battery, yes, one, maybe two, an RTG, yes, look, who says that they don't glow? They will glow. Now, uh, I want a RCS fuel tank, obviously, because that will allow us maneuver in weightlessness. So, what else? Uh, we have to have a, some sort of a satellite to deploy, obviously. So let's put up a hinge. I'm gonna deploy it on hinge. I don't... Now that we have hinges, those are might be highly useful, actually. So turn it around and connect it like that. Yes. Then I stage a decoupler. Make sure that this is pointing the right way. It is. Good. This is just a test satellite. It's nothing, you know, really particularly useful, but uh, it has to have some payload, right? Second version of the SSTO I'm gonna build is gonna be a passenger one, because ultimately my main goal for the SSTOs is to ferry passengers to and from the space station. Sort of like space bus, you know, taxi, whatever. Uh, now let's do these. This is basically a test platform to see if it will survive the ascent and re-entry and see if it works in a good way. 
and also basically teaching some of you that might be new to the you know KSP if there are any kind of like that uh, how to build an SSTO you know so this will be like a small relay target angle you will go from 0 to 90 not 180 although I should be taking this guy out and okay now you have enough good close the cargo bay door space plane SSTO mark 1 test yes who doesn't want their first maiden ship that will be going into space named test well everybody obviously all right so let's put a big ass wing i really like the expression of that having a big ass wing on my ssto and yes i know how it sounds now this is not the big ass control panels is it no, they don't look like that. Okay, wrong one. Big ass elevons. There we go. Come on. There we go. Give me something. Okay, this is good. Give me another one. Okay, these are wrong, clearly. This should go on the in, and the other one should go out. Alright, we'll do that. Oh, you sly. You. Okay, well, that, yeah, that, wor that works quite well. And the big ass tail fin. Okay, this is a little bit over the top. No. How about these two? Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Hello, sexy. Ooh, I, I got the shivers from this one. Right. Tail fin's too large. Nose cone? Oh, well, good enough. Okay, ooh, look at that. Center of mass, center of lift, exactly aligned, and with tail fin it would be horrendous. Now, where's that smaller tail fin when you need one? Something like that, yes, look. Maybe on the tail? No, how about on the wings? Yeah, those don't do much except vertical stabilization. Okay, let's disable the pitch and roll. These are only your authority, this is pitch and roll, and this is pitch and roll, so disabling the your authority. Good. <clears throat> now. Where is my intake? Adjustable ramp intake radial. Yes. I do want these. However, I want to align them nicely. So something like that. And I do want a lot of them because, you know, these engines, the rapier engines do take suck up a lot of power, but it also has to look beautiful. So, in my opinion, this looks good enough. I also would like some more like these guys. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks good. Me likey. Now, um, air brakes, I don't like the way they look on wings, so I'm going to put them here on the engine. So look at that. Wonderful. Perfect. These look good enough. Now, uh, what about, yes, we want a couple of these guys. RCS thrusters? Yes, that's what they called. Two. Some in the back. I guess this could be also called a tutorial how to build and launch an SSTO. Huh? Perhaps, we'll see. Maybe it will be a tutorial how not to build an SSTO. Who knows? <laughs> Me for sure, no, I don't know. Right, now, uh, this is my abort system, which basically stops the aircraft dead in its tracks and hopefully not radial, mirror, yes, good. Two shoots in the back, one shot in the front, because the S is much heavier. 1.17 thrust to weight ratio, that looks good. Wheel, shall we put the big wheel in front? Come on. Come on, you're killing me over here. I don't want to put it over the RCS thruster. Somewhere about here, huh? What do you say? And landing gear here. No, those are just horrendously big. What if I put these guy and then these two up? Ah, uh, that could... Oh, no, don't you be turning the gods of KSP glitchiness. Right. Okie doke. I think this should do well. It will be slightly angled, and by slightly I mean a lot. So I'm going to draw these guys inwards a bit. Oh, much better. Look at that. Much better. See? Now it looks cool. Save and wonderful. Well, let's launch it. 
after some tweaks, I forgot one thing. Yes, sorry. A tiny thing, but it's important nonetheless. Uh, yes, and that's section groups. I know, I know, I can add them now, you know, directly, but I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm old school. What can I tell you? I learned slow. So, action groups, uh, engines, vessel intakes, radial intakes, thank you, uh, intakes, intakes, ramp intake, intake, good. Four, thou shall be... Nine, deploy the, the flaps, ten, deploy the air brakes, or toggle the air brakes, yes. Although this is done by a brake button as well, so I don't know, it's kind of redundant, but I'm used to having those on these groups. So, hinge, I want hinge on 6, and by hinge I want to make sure that the target angle is 0, and it goes up to 90, say. There we go. Close. Perfect. Jebediah, I... Yes, you will be piloting, you haven't been piloting for a while, but I want my trusty engineer, Dan. Come on, Dan. Yeah, I know, I've been asking you lately a lot, so what can you do? Suck it up. We are taking off! Look at that sleek look! I just love myself a good space plane design. There we go, taking off, wheel comes up, and it looks great! Alright, 150 meters per second and accelerating, very good ascent profile. I plan to go for a standard SSTO ascent profile, come up to 10, then line it up a little bit, burn until I get very fast, and then when I get to space, launch this damn satellite now, and hopefully come back. I don't plan for this test to be coming back exactly to, um, exactly to the KSC. I'll just land anywhere, because it's also testing the robustness of the wheelbase and whatnot, and uh, uh, any excuse for my laziness is good enough. Yes. Oh, look at that beautiful moonrise. Or moonrise. Yes. 350, and we are accelerating, not as nearly fast as I would like it to, so I'm lining up down to a 20 degree climbing angle. And look at that thrust to weight is going up significantly, but so is our fuel consumption. But our engines are choking a bit, I feel, because, well, not yet, but uh, I'm gonna actually throttle a little bit upwards. I do want to accelerate at a good pace, but also I don't want to lose too much speed in the process. I, I would hope for around 12, 1300 before I switch to rapiers, if possible. We'll see how it will do. But come on, damn you! All right, shoot. All right, sorry about that. Uh, 1100, and now we are on our rapiers, switching and thrusting onwards. Our apoapsis, I'm hoping that it will go above 70-ish. It will be kind of important. 75, good, but our thrust to, or actually our delta V isn't too great, so on 1800, I think, I think we will be missing the, um, missing the orbital mark by a little, but we can still shoot out a satellite and that one should be reaching orbit, hopefully. Depends on how well, I mean, it's a test anyway, but we're close enough. I feel like with some minor tweaks, we will be golden. Right. Perhaps less uh, fuel for the aircraft mode. We'll see about that. All right, as soon as we get above, I might be launching, so let's... Oh, I'm sorry, this is once again too dark. What the actual hell? Let's try and uh, burn a little bit more. Yeah, 1850, not really that great, sadly. Okay, let's open up. I shot it up. Right. Okay, and let's extend the solar panels. Jeez, this is so dark. It isn't so dark when I'm playing it. I'll have to double check my uh, settings. 
Well, doesn't matter. We deployed it. Let's go down and hopefully land this thing. I don't want to close up things. No research available. Jeez, this is really dark. I swear it, it isn't that dark when I'm playing it, but yeah. I'll guess I'll have to double check my settings. Okay, now it will start to be a little bit more light as this thing starts to glow and I'm gonna do the shuttle thing. You know, right and then go left and I'm struggling with my controls. I don't know what to press, yes. There we go. Oh, it's heating up. But look, if, since we are doing that, we are kind of dispersing the heat, which is also kind of good. 1800, that's the most dangerous part when we're coming into the atmosphere. So as long as I'm rotating, I'm actually golden. Or so it seems. All right. It seems like the aircraft will be able to withstand a little bit breaking here, a little bit breaking there. Parts are warm and with the air brakes they're warm enough but they won't break, hopefully. Look at that. Oh right, and we are just gonna go supersonic. Yes, look at that. All right. I'm, I have a good fortune that the contours of this craft are being shown by the air forces and now they're gone. Bollocks! Right, um, I'm gonna turn on the engines. Oh, look at that, they're shining now. Goody, goody. We're coming in through the thick of the atmosphere, which is good. I do see a land there. I mean, I'm sorry if you guys don't see it, but um, like I said, I'm gonna check my settings again. Because when I'm recording, it actually, I, I've turned uh, giant stop the ambient light quite a bit. So I have no idea why you guys don't see what I see and I'm just now reviewing the video so I'm doing a post commentary obviously. But um, yeah, at least you can see the plane and now I'm gonna do decelerate, yes. And I'm hoping if I did put down the landing gear you should be able to see. And I'm gonna add on the improvements of this plane I'm gonna add also the landing light. Oh, there's some surface. It's barely recognizable, but it should be okay, and we should be landing shortly. Turning off the engine, look at that thrust is continuing, and let's see, come on. We should be good enough, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna turn up the engine, and I'm gonna deploy my flaps. The big ass elevons, look at that, and it immediately wants to point upwards, which is good because that bleeds up a lot of velocity, but it's pointing actually quite heavily, so I might want to be careful. I'm not going to use the abort system, I think Jebediah is perfectly capable of landing this bad boy on its own. We are 1000 meters high, so we should be jacking down our landing gear. We are still a bit fast though. Cannot deploy while stalled. What? Which one cannot deploy? You gotta be kidding me. It's the first one. Oh no, you're not gonna do this again. Okay, uh, deploy shielded, enabled, extend. See, works much better. Okay, and we can see down. So, pressing the flaps and we're going down at 40 meters per second, which is ooh, very slow, but it, this craft has big wings, so it can actually land perfectly. Look at that. Jeb, awesome landing, and then you should look at this module wheelbase and oops. Yeah, right. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, this will be the end of this episode. As always, like if you like, hit subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next episode, but until then, Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks signing off from the short episode.